The basic education department says the reopening of schools has been postponed to February 15. Deputy Basic Education Minister Regina Mahawu Mahaule says given the pressure experienced by the health system in the past few weeks, the Council of Education Ministers, in conjunction with the National Coronavirus Command Council and Cabinet, has taken the decision to delay the reopening of both public and private schools by two weeks. SABC reporter Mashako Komani joins me now for more. So Mashako, uh, we remember that the Education Department was saying that they're fairly confident that they're able to reopen schools. So uh, what were the compelling reasons that made them do an about turn? It would seem you are quite correct. Um, on, on Monday, we did hear the DG saying that their research is based on information that they were getting uh, from uh, the Department of Health. Were confident that they could open schools, uh, looking at the mortality as well as the admission rate of learners. They were quite happy to continue on the 27th of this month. However, I'm told uh, one of my sources tells me that it was actually Health that had said that uh, they, they are obviously experiencing that huge influx of mm. numbers when you look at. Um, the infection rates that are currently happening in the country uh, in terms of were they wrong uh, even though it didn't seem to want to admit it but it seems that um, it would make sense right now to postpone um, the opening of uh, the reopening of schools to the 15th of February so I suppose that they can also get an opportunity to look at, okay. at the statistics and see what's happening so what are the ramifications of this decision on the curriculum we know that uh, obviously uh, learners and uh, pupils alike everywhere have this has had a major impact on their progress. You would remember the issue of the curriculum stems from last year that um, uh, parts of the curriculum were not covered. Uh, we were also told that going into 2021 they would somehow manage to factor what wasn't covered last year because some of these subjects we understand are building blocks. You, you can't really um, be confident enough if you're missing certain parts of it. Uh, in terms of what this means, you'd understand that this time last year children had already been back at schools so if you look at it technically there's been a four week delay to what would be the normal or the usual schooling calendar mm -hmm. this does speak to issues of well, are they going to come back again and say that they won't be covering everything in the curriculum are they going to shorten schooling holidays um, also in terms of the pace that learners are then going to be expected to um, take up um, information. And I think also the examination. You remember last year, the way examinations were conducted was changed in terms of the allocation of marks. Okay. It was more for what would be classwork and the submission of assignments right. and so forth. So let's talk about fees. This is something that many parents, including our viewers, have lamented, saying that, you know, if they don't open, then please don't expect us to pay for children who are not going to school. Yes, definitely. It was already a problem with parents feeling that by the 27th of, of January, it was already at the end of the month. So there would have been that time period where learners wouldn't have gotten it, uh, wouldn't have been in school. Uh, parents obviously not too happy. But when we spoke to FETSA saying that you would understand and appreciate um, the education dynamics in this country, that uh, there are quite a number of schools that employ teachers under their SGBs and they depend on school fees to be able to meet that commitment that they have to their education educators. Um, you know, FETSA is calling on, on parents to please, please pay fees, but saying that they are very concerned because this is going to trigger a lot of parents um, not to, to be paying the fees. But what the deputy minister had said was that parents have to unfortunately continue paying school fees, um, including as well, you'd understand that this decision also affects your independent schools. And I mean, it's quite a lot of money that parents have to fork out there. Seemingly, they will have to pay. But uh, what, what, did not, what we didn't really get get out of the press briefing was would schools that have the capacity and the ability to conduct online learning which was quite a trend last year with schools that were better resourced learners were then able to at least um, have a lot of, of schooling hours in on the online but we know the data challenges and the issues and the landscape uh, that South African schools find themselves in. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about those resources. One of the things that we've seen as problematic and by the admittance of the National Basic Education Department through its spokesperson is the lack of teachers. Unfortunately, uh, we've seen a lot of them being infected. We've seen a deaths of a teachers. How is this going to impact the schooling uh, year, especially if uh, we're going to implement safety protocols? You need the requisite number of teachers for pupils, especially if you're going to cut down on classes, but also those who've been through the training. 
Well, in terms of the, 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 the classroom space, what most schools had then done, you'd remember that children would then come on certain days or certain grades were coming on certain days. Not necessarily a challenge there, but what is um, quite a concerning issue, and I think uh, what the department had answered was that it was only when I think they reopen and their SMTs as well as the, you know, the various principals of schools are back at, at school or, with, or they're back at work, will they be able to formulate and understand who is missing and where would they have to, um, you know, beef up their staffing or re-employ new teachers? Quite correct that we have lost quite a number of teachers to um, the coronavirus. But also we, we saw even with the markers, I mean, these are, are teachers mm. that would ideally be teaching grade 12s that have also succumbed to this. But I, I'm, I'm assuming that hopefully by the... when. Because you'd understand teachers would be right. back on the 1st of February. By then, maybe a few days after that, we'd have an idea of who's missing where and what is it All that right. the department will do. Thank you very much. Uh, Mahlako Komani, SABC reporter on that story. Of course, she'll keep us up to date on when the school reopening announcement is going to be made as well.